Shannon, you had issues with Emily all season. How do you feel about this new friendship between she and Tamara? She doesn't love it. Oh, I, you know, it, it was, it, and I know what it stems from because I, I read my social media last night. What does that mean? Wait, what does it stem from? No, it's like, oh, because when we, we did the Trace Amiga show. Like, I just want to go out there not being worried that our cast is in the audience somewhere. And I said, if we either have to invite the whole cast. And I wanted to. But I think Jen was invited. Were you invited? But you know what? Taylor's the one who, who invited told me. you. Taylor. Tamara reached out and said, I, wanted I want to, to invite you, but Shannon is adamant that you cannot be there. I was nervous. I know you're nervous. Live show. I know you're nervous. But, nervous. You, but why don't you just say, I didn't want you there. I didn't like you. Is, is that, that what she tone? said? It's not, no. She like, said that's you what you to said. Stop putting f***ing words in my you mouth You didn't today. want her there because I, you didn't like her at the time I, because of things she said on the show. I didn't want certain Emily members there. of the cast. You didn't want it, me there. No, I didn't want Gina there. I was worried. Well, you don't like Gina. Gonna... You say it all the time. Well, why was it I? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Emily Lana from Burlington, Vermont said, you said at Nobu that Heather has a phony relationship with Tamara. What did you mean Well, that's by that? another thing that upset me because I had heard you were friends with me only because you were afraid of me. I never said the only reason I am friends with you is because I'm afraid of you. Why I've never gone against you is because I'm scared of you. You should you be scared of me. Because you get mean. When Tamara came back on the show, Heather and I spent a lot of time together, and we talked a lot about Tamara. And Heather had a lot of negative things to say about That's Tamara. True. It is true. You said she was an asshole. She is an asshole. <laughs> sometimes it could be. We could all be assholes. And I love you, but sometimes you're an asshole. But we were in good oh, terms. I haven't even been an asshole to you yet. But I don't remember what the context was. And then she comes back on the show and you act like... I don't remember what the context was. It's not even my package. We it's could have been Judy. talking you about just some keep and talking, so Judy. go ahead. I don't know. Judy. I say Judy when people annoy me. <laughs> but I'm sorry, it's Emily's package, and she'd like to speak, so let's throw it back to Emily. Okay. Oh, thank you, Heather. Gina, do you think Emily is unfair with her behavior towards Heather? I think that your delivery is, is rough, and I think that it doesn't get you what I think you really want out of it, because that's not indicative of how you really want to be towards her. I feel like... You and I had a lot of misfires, and I think that's because you read me as being malicious. When aggressive, it, maybe, but not malicious. But to me, it's that's not. Different. To me, in my head, it's not aggressive. It's passionate. But you made like a spectacle. I mean, I guess good for me because it promoted the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I get a thank you. But note I mean, on are HD we going to get branded with HD on our heads? Heather, I think you should put your initials on on more things. I'm surprised we didn't get branded when we got here. It's like so mean but and is rude. It, don't, but don't you find it I, funny at all? Bro, it was funny. You have no sense of humor and no ability to That's laugh just at yourself. rude. Well, calling someone a mammoth is rude. You and I had a full conversation about this when you were upset that I called you a snuffleupagus. You look like snuffleupagus in a good way. Of course, I didn't mean it mean, and I said it to you. I said in a good way. Standing it's up. a mammoth. A snuffleupagus is a mammoth. The <laughs> truth was, you came out of the water, and your hair was all crazy and wiry, and you looked like the, I, okay, that. I, and that's why I said it. I thought we were cool. That's the problem I have. I guess with I it. can't get past it that it's a mammoth. I don't know. And by I the way, at some mammoth, point, yeah, it's I mean, not all my fault. Yeah, but here's the thing, Heather. I say you look like a whale trainer, and then I hear from other people that you say I was an asshole and I should be fired. And I then never said you should be fired. You told me that she said that. That is not true. Well, you didn't like her, and you <gasps> no, didn't want oh her on the show. Oh, my God. Tamara, that is a lie, and now I'm going to remind you what happened. You were texting me hideous things about Emily, and you went on Watch What Happens Live, and you went, you know who I love? I love oh, no, Emily. That's you not, did you a total what? 180. Wait a minute. I said all last season that Emily was the breakout star. That's when it happened. No, I did yes. that prior on my podcast. It, I, I'm not going to deny. I did not like this bitch. But we're in a good place now, so why are you trying to break that down? I'm just telling you that is exactly what happened. Coming up. I didn't call anyone a loser. Bullsh**. I didn't. It's a lot of hair on the side of the couch. <laughs> Thanks. They're all straight over there. They all have straight hair over there and we all got like a... hair over here. You look like a country singer. Me? No, oh. Shannon. I love big hair. I love big There's hair. There's a lot of big hair over here. No, Thank I love you. it. Thank they you. didn't weight the hair out evenly on the I sides. love it that you'll go with big hair. <laughs> Five, four, three. 
Welcome back to the Real Housewives of Orange County reunion. You know, whether these women were whooping it up in Mexico or shoveling poop in Montana, they always managed to have a ball, even when they found one on a river raft. Remember that? Let's revisit your I most remember. memorable moments on vacation. Here we come. Sun vacation, has <laughs> just landed. <laughs> I just thought like getting out of Orange County would be really fun. Oh my God! Doing all the things that we normally don't do. We got a shovel and a rake. Pick your poison. If you want me to shovel shit. Oh, Heather. <sighs> At least give me like a Chanel shovel. <laughs> Shannon, are you gonna do this? It's too vagina. <laughs> I have a bony vagina. So always keep a hand down the shaft. I don't like that word shaft. shaft. <laughs> Kevin's balls are hanging out of his little mini shorts. It was like purple and kind of shriveled. And I thought I was going to die. Who was the first to notice K-Dog's ball was coming out? <laughs> it was, I yeah, think it was, was me. Shocking. You. Yeah. D uh, well, <laughs> he had short shorts on, like even shorter than yours. When every time he rode, it peaked one, out. It just one came out. would just pop out. Did he want his balls so, on television? I don't know. <laughs> okay. But he Did they was, sign a release? He was literally, <laughs> like, he had short, short shorts, shorts on, like, really short shorts mm -hmm. on. Did he ever figure it out? Well, you know how he figured it out? When he saw it on the show? No. So I was with Jeff Lewis and Shane, and it happens to be Shane's cousin. Wow. He came up to me at BravoCon, and he goes... That is Jeff's co-host on co -host. the radio. He goes, oh, my God, my uh, cousin filmed with you guys in Montana. I go, who? He goes... Kevin, I go, oh my God, we saw his balls, balls like what? that. And he was like, oh my God. 